Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I want to demonstrate how to navigate around a dialog box using NVDA. But just in case you're unfamiliar with NVDA and screen readers, let me just introduce them. NVDA is a free screen reader and a screen reader is a great piece of software that gives computers, smartphones and tablets a voice in order to help people who have a visual impairment or who are blind access these devices more independently. Now I've created other videos about the screen reader NVDA and I've grouped them together in a playlist which I will link to below. A piece of technical information is that I'm recording this video on a laptop running Windows 10 and my version of NVDA is 2016.1. The process should be the same if you are using Windows 7 or 8 or if you're using a different version of NVDA as long as it is fairly recent. So let's turn on NVDA. I will press the Windows key and the D key in order to select my desktop. I will press the N key to select NVDA and then press enter. <coughs> So before we start, let me clarify what I mean by a dialog box. A dialog box is a box that appears on your screen when you instruct your PC to do something, such as to save a document, open a document, or search for a document. There are many more actions that we will take that will cause a dialog box to appear, and so they are a regular feature of our computer lives. Luckily for us, all dialog boxes have the same structure even if their contents are different and they do all, always seem to be full, full to the brim of folders and files. On the screen now is a, di <coughs> on the screen now is a dialog box that, I've, that has appeared after I press the control key and the S key. the control and S key in order to save a document. NVDA reads out <coughs> excuse me <coughs> NVDA reads out the type of box save as dialog before quickly NVDA reads out the type of box, save as dialog before then quickly telling you where the cursor is focused at the file name box and it provides some other details. Now the same thing happens if I want to open a, part, a file by pressing the control key and the O key. NVDA, NVDA reads out the type of box, open dialog, before then quickly telling you where the cursor is focused at the file name and it provides some other details. Opening these two boxes demonstrates that dialog boxes have consistent structures. Now there are many different areas within a dialog box that you need to access at one point or another and you can access the different parts of the dialog box by pressing the tab key which will take you forwards through each part of the box in turn or you can use shift and tab to go backwards through each part of the box in turn. There are 10 elements to a dialog box and they are file name box, file as type box, open button, cancel button, address documents toolbar, search box, 
organize button tree view items view and name header so let's have a look at the different part the file name combo box is the name of the file that you want to open or to save it is labeled as a combo box because you can choose from a variety of suggested locations and to access these you press your down arrow key Pressing the tab key takes us to the file as type box. <clears throat> Again, this is a combo box because there are different file types to choose from. NVDA will read out the different file types. To access these options, press your down arrow key. And and you can move through the different types of file by pressing your up and your down arrow. Pressing tab again gets us to the open button. NVDA describes this as a split button because if you press the down arrow then you are given a choice between opening two different versions of documents. If I'm honest, I'm not quite sure what the differences between these two choices are. Pressing the tab again. Takes us to the cancel button. If you press enter at this point, the dialog box closes like so. Pressing tab again takes us to the address documents bar. This tells us the location of the files that we are accessing on the computer. I am currently in the documents folder or in my documents folder. If you press your down arrow, a menu expands displaying other locations to access documents from on your PC such as the desktop like so pressing the tab takes us to the search box you can search for a file in the current location there pressing tab again takes us to the organize button on the command module toolbar. Pressing the down arrow gives us access to changing the physical layout of the box by choosing to display a details preview and navigation pane. The layout that we've got at the moment just displays a navigation pane. But And you can see that I have added the preview pane there as well. Pressing the tab again takes us into tree view or a detailed view of all the different folders within this PC. This tree view essentially gives us a much more detailed look at the files and folders than is possible from the address bar which we accessed earlier.
Pressing tab again takes us to items view list, which gives us access to individual files and folders in the location. A final press of the tab takes us into a header of file names into which we can sort out files into alphabetized lists which I don't need to do as I have so few files but if I were to press my down arrow I can see that it's ready to divide the files up into different parts of the alphabet and that's it my detailed overview of how to access a dialog box with NVDA if you have any questions or difficulties after watching this video or want to join in with it <coughs> with the discussion <coughs> please do so below what parts of the dialog box do you tend to access the most let me know thanks for watching